Welcome to an example on how to factor a quadratic expression using the technique of factor by grouping. So our goal here is to factor 6x squared plus 7x minus 5 using factor by grouping. The steps to factor a quadratic expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c by grouping are shown here below. Where step 1 is to find the factors of ac that add to b. So looking at the given expression, notice at a, the coefficient of x squared is 6, b, the coefficient of x is 7, and c, the constant term, is negative 5. So let's first find ac, or a times c, which would be 6 times negative 5, which equals negative 30. So we want to determine the factors of negative 30 that add to b, which equals 7. So if we can just think of the factors in negative 30 that add to positive 7, that's great. But if we can't, or if we're not sure what they are, we can always list all the factors of negative 30. And let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have negative 1 times 30, or negative 30 times 1, negative 2 times 15, or negative 15 times 2, negative 3 times 10, or negative 10 times 3, as well as negative 5 times 6, or negative 6 times 5. So we're looking for the two factors of negative 30 that add to 7. So notice how the factors we're looking for would be negative 3 and positive 10, because negative 3 plus 10 equals 7, and 7 is b. Step 2, we're going to rewrite the bx term, or in our case the term 7x, as a sum or difference using the factors from step 1, which means using the factors negative 3 and positive 10. So we're going to rewrite 7x as negative 3x plus 10x. So we have 6x squared, again, minus 3x plus 10x, minus 5. Notice how negative 3x plus 10x is still equal to positive 7x. So this is an equivalent expression. But now because we have four terms, we can apply the factoring technique of factor by grouping, which are outlined in the next three steps. So step three, we divide or group the polynomial in half. So again, because we have four terms, this would be where we would group or divide the polynomial, where we have two terms on the left and two terms on the right. Step four, we want to factor out the greatest common factor from the first and second half. So looking at just these first two terms on the left, notice how the greatest common factor would be 3x. So if we factor out 3x from just the first two terms, we're left with the quantity 2x minus 1. And now we want to factor these two terms. Notice how here the greatest common factor would be 5. So because we're factoring out positive 5, we'll write plus 5. And then once we factor 5 out, we're left with 2x minus 1. Whenever we factor by grouping, we should have a common binomial factor in these products. And notice how we do. So the final step, step 5, is you want to factor out the common binomial factor. So if we factor out the quantity 2x minus 1 from these products, Again, if we factor out this common binomial factor, notice how we're left with 3x plus 5, which is our second factor. So this is the factored form of the given expression 6x squared plus 7x minus 5. Of course, if we want to check this, we can multiply this out. And let's go ahead and do that. So we have 2x minus 1 times the quantity 3x plus 5. Remember, here we'll have four products. We distribute the 2x, then we distribute negative 1. So we have 2x times 3x is 6x squared. And then we have 2x times 5, that's 10x, so plus 10x. Next, we have negative 1 times 3x, that's negative 3x, which we can write as minus 3x. And then finally, we have negative 1 times positive 5, that's negative 5 which we can write as minus 5. And now for the last step, we'll combine the like terms. Notice how here we have 10x minus 3x, which would be 7x. So we have 6x squared plus 7x minus 5, which verifies we did factor this correctly. I hope you found this helpful.